Yochum, your Polk Education Association president, and I wanted to give you an update about our special magistrate hearing that happened today at Jim Miles. Um, so pretty much our, uh, our union presented our case. The district then in the afternoon presented their case. And the way it's laid out now is, just to give you an overall timeline, um, we presented our four issues and it was our para-educator and our secretary clerical units uh, to bring them up to $10 an hour with also a level increase for experience so that everybody else would also realize a 3 to a 4% wage increase. Uh, we have our blended learning stipend that was issue three um, that we are fighting for for blended learning instructors because we know the enormous work that everybody's doing right now with blended learning being almost impossible. And we are asking for that under the CARES Act money, and that was part of our presentation at issue three. And then issue four is the infamous teacher salary increase allocation. And so, you know, moving forward with this now as we um, go through this impasse process, which I'll get to the timeline in just a second, uh, teachers, we have to remember what we're fighting for. We are fighting for longevity in our schedule so that we can not only give significant raises to our beginning year teachers this year, but that you also continue to be able to get wage increases in years to come. Our union uh, proposal does that because we don't compress the salary levels at the beginning. And so we're fighting for your career longevity, beginning teachers, so hang in there with us. We know that you guys are getting significant increases either under our proposal or the district's proposal but we also want to ensure that you're gonna be able to get wage increases for years to come. And we are fighting for our veteran instructional staff, classroom teachers and non-classroom teachers, because you know longevity and, and experience matters. And so the district is wanting to give our veteran staff $650 and then call it a day. Whereas we are looking at a more equitable distribution for our veteran teachers with our lowest tier raise being $1,120. So I know that you guys have been waiting a long time for these wage increases. You will get them, I promise, but we've got to keep our eye on the prize here. And we need to make sure that we are fighting to maintain the structure of our salary schedule so that we can continue to provide wage increases under this categorical for years to come. And so with that, let's talk about the timeline for a little bit. So we had our special magistrate hearing today. Again, both sides presented. We gave him big exhibit books, um, and so he will start going through those more thoroughly. Now, with us bumping up to the winter holiday, uh, the court reporter that was present will be able to give her court uh, the transcript of today's meeting back to us right before Christmas. And so with the Christmas holiday, winter holiday break, um, our briefs for both sides because we get to submit a brief to, to rebut you know what the other side said and those are going to be due on Tuesday January 19th and so then the magistrate has 10 days to turn around an opinion and so he will have an opinion to both parties no later than Friday January 29th and so what that means going forward once he provides that opinion if one side whether it's union side or the district side rejects all or part of the magistrate's opinion, that triggers the insulation period. And then that also triggers that the school board has to now schedule a legislative hearing to be the final decider on which package goes out to you guys, the bargaining unit. And so roughly we're thinking that we could be having a legislative hearing if you know one party rejects, so that, that would be the um, stipulation there, if neither party rejects and we accept the magistrate's opinion, then that's what goes out for ratification. But if either party rejects, then it goes to the school board as a legislative body. We're probably looking at that um, meeting mid-February-ish. Um, so the fight has to continue, guys. We've got to keep stay engaged with this process. We've got to continue to put pressure on our school board. They have to know that for our support staff, the zero pay is not okay and it is unacceptable. We need a path to a living wage for our support staff and we are fighting for that for you. We must compensate our blended learning instructors who are making this work. Uh, and we must provide an equitable salary schedule under the parameters of this new law for all teachers, beginning teachers and veterans. And so 
you know, hang in there, guys. Uh, we are fighting the good fight, and we need our army behind us in this fight. I hope you guys, you know, we have four more days until winter break. You guys got this. Please have a nice, restful winter break, and we can come back refreshed in January to continue this fight. Thanks, guys.